All right, that was one more nasty beastie taken care of. Down to the next layer. I can already tell that this whole place is going to take me a little while to get through, isn't it? Digging the color scheme, though. I can see around me. It's crazy. Did they not give me a... They did not give me a lamp. So I'll press forward first. Just so we have it. One on this floor. Don't want to play with elevators. Where are you at? There you are. There's the way forward. Check for secrets. Since I, th I think we've had a secret in this very type of room before. But yeah, we're definitely checking out whatever was behind us. What you got for me, game? Any more freaky cliffs? I do look forward to seeing whatever other types of new assets we can find around here. That was a rat running around. That's always a good sign. Oh god, alright. Get that chain ready for when they attack in a horde. No ceiling blobs so far? Does this stuff poison me? No. Good to know. Probably just a problem for mobility. Trying to keep an eye out for surprises. Hey guys, how you doing? How's it going? Guys? We, we playing a game? Hello. Get out of my... Ow. Ow. Get out of my dungeon. Get out of my dungeon. Get out of my dungeon. Get out. Ow. Ow. Okay, bad. Bad. Bad damage. There we go. The ch The, uh... Threaded cane continues to be really handy for crowd for dealing with crowds, basically. There we go. And I believe my gun is currently in ch uh, set up to regenerate health. Oh, I think I saw it tick a little bit. Oh, 160. 162. I mean, I mean 560, 562. So it's definitely ungodly slow. So unfortunately, not that big of a deal. I just wasted a bullet. I, uh, I just, I was like, oh, there's bodies everywhere, and I reflexively hit L2, because that's how you go into your Witcher sense mode in Witcher 3, to search the environment for, uh, for little hidden objects to pick up, loot, and all that. Watching for blobs, there's a blob. Hello, blob. God, you guys take forever to kill. I'm sorry, I don't care. Bye. You do your thing. Yeah, they're just not... Nope. They just don't necessarily feel worth killing half the time. Because they take an eternity. I think I'd rather just press forward. Let's go upstairs. Give us more mobility options. Hello, corpse. Any friends up here? No new buddies yet? Maybe a secret path somewhere? Uh, that's roughly where I'd try to put one. Any of these things that looks kind of like the opening to a door could easily be the actual opening to a door. Is how this works, more or less. Hey, little lantern guys. Still not sure what the fuck those do. <laughs> They're just kind of there and they light up. Seems strange to me. Ooh. Was that five ritual blood at level four? Pressed X a little too fast, but that seemed like a pretty big horde. Ooh. This should be a treasure room. That is indeed a treasure room. That's a nasty. Hey, guy. Have I seen one of those in this... I'm trying to remember if I've seen one of these before in a Chalice Dungeon before. That's the nasty, uh, guys with their heads split open. The vertical mouth wolves. Definitely gonna want to, uh... Oh yeah, these guys are easy to visceral attack. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You, play, you playing with fire? There we go. Get, oh, he's just the nastiest thing. Oh, is he dead already? Any other surprises hanging out around, or is that it? Damped blood gem? Cool. Uh, lo looks like that was it. One quick visceral attack and we're done. Beast Claw. That's a big deal. I know what that is. That's... I believe it's the one weapon in the game that's exclusive to the Chalice Dungeons, actually. Uh, all the other ones you find in specific parts of the, un of the environment. I think Beast Claw is exclusive to this location. Base... Oh, something just died somewhere. Basically, it's a m fist weapon, basically. That has a specific relationship with your, uh... It has a specific relationship with your beast meter. I think it significantly reduces the pace at which the, be the beast meter drains or something like that. Uh... Using that in conjunction with beast pellets, like, is actually supposed to be, like, a big deal. Let's look at what it starts out at. Beast Claw. Starts out at 75 damage. Who knows how good it is in the long run. 
Uh, beastly weapon wielded by irreverent Izzy. Crafted by chiseling the long bones of an undead dark beast and fastening them to the weapon. The bones are still alive, and when unleashed, grants the wielder a spurt of beastly power. As flesh is flayed and, br and blood is splayed, the beast within awakens, and in time, the wielder of this weapon surges with both strength and feverish reverie. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this moves, this moves right here. So it's a relatively quick, like, kind of fist weapon. The Wolverine Claw. There we go. Roll attack. Right, that's just my power attack. Rolling light. Ooh, a little jab. Backstab. Just a, that's pretty straightforward. No backstab R2. Alright. Transform. I figured that would put it into some sort of two-hand mode. Oh! Yeah, that's nasty. It made my other hand a beast hand. It's like one hand... The, it's the first one's still a claw, but my offhand is now a crazy, horrifying beast hand instead. Let's see if I can get some better lighting on that in here. See, as you can see, I just have a straight-up arm like that now. Pretty unsettling. So mashing R1 attacks with both hands in sequence like that. R2. I now slam them with my new hand, which apparently... Did I just make that plant come out of the ground, or was that already there? Jump attack. No, that plant just happened to be right where I attacked. I was like, what the hell happened there? L L1 switches in and out. Don't know if that costs anything. And there's my L2, which is how I do the vertical strike. I do the vertical strike with my greatsword with that. Looks like it does a, a three... Was it a three-hit combo? Oh, yeah. That last one has a specific swing, so it is a three-hit combo. Handy jump attack. But, well, yeah, it's basically just a flurry of blows, rapid-fire melee move. I was going to say, I don't know why you would ever not have it in two-hand mode, but then I, I realized, just like Blade of Mercy, it's basically because you sometimes want to have a gun. But yeah, that's that's that weapon. It's utterly useless to me right now because it's not upgraded, but maybe at some point I'll have some fun with that. Never know. I won't say no, although my top priority is I want to upgrade the bur the burial blade once I get the proper materials for it, because I, want, I, want I, I feel like a giant scythe could have some nice uses if I just get prepped. Unfortunately, those are some late game. Those are some late game upgrade items that I don't have access to. Uh, at, that I don't have access to at the beginning of the game, and you only get the item at the end of the first playthrough. So, basically, I would have had to pre-farm the upgrade materials before fighting Garman if I wanted to do that. Hey, Blob, just hanging out there. You just keep being you, man. You just keep being you. Hey, guys. Oh, this is horrifying. Howdy, y'all. I'm a grand old adventure today. Uh, back step out of there. Back step out of there. <laughs> there we go. That's what I was missing in my first attempt. That I wasn't backstepping enough. There we go. Did I just get through this clean? I think I did. Anyone else? Nope. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Get like two quick attacks in, and then just take, uh, then just backstep a few times instead of uh, or or roll. Just, just like a couple quick attacks followed by an evasion was what I should have done the first time around. I committed to doing too many consecutive blows, and that's why I got hit before. Hello! Oh, it's a hunter using the Beast Claw. Well, isn't this a surprise? Now I should show you why the Beast Claw is inferior. Friend, I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab the shit out of you. Yes, I, yes, I am. Yeah. How's that working out for you, buddy? How's that working out for you? You know, creepy claw hand. It's a good thing I cleared out the the. Uh, the uh, oops, it's a good thing I already cleared out all the uh, rats, or this would have been a problem. Oop. It's funny in Dark Souls I prefer using a f in Dark Souls I prefer using a heavy weapon against hunters or invaders. I mean, but in this game I, I, I in this game I specifically want to use a fast weapon because I can just hit them so many times. It's just so much easier to fight one of those guys with a fast weapon. I definitely learned that when I was fighting that goddamn Grand Cathedral Hunter. Chopping things up a little bit. No secret back here, just uh, j just a guy that's here to demonstrate how cool that weapon is, I guess. Let's see, I got a new blood gem. It's a level 5 red- Oh, odd fire damp blood gem. 
27 fire attack. Uh, f that's oh, that's fire. Wait. It adds fire attack, but increases bolt attack. What the fuck was that? What's that even useful for? What's with these things that that add bolt and fire attack? I don't know if that's necessarily useful. Weird. Here's I think these are the damp blood gems I was getting. So they they're just uh, an increase of physical attack speed. I mean, physical goal attack damage. Any surprises behind this thing? Howdy, y'all. Ooh. It's a werewolf staring at a wall for some reason. Any other nasties in here? Not yet. Let's just get prepped. Watch out for slimes. If I'm very careful, I can sneak up on him. Nope. Unsuccessful. But I can just hit him a few times, maybe? Oh, he's still alive. There we go. Give me those hit points back. Ah. I was originally hoping of doing the uh, the backstab visceral, but it's pretty hard to do in this game. Uh, it's hard to actually sneak up on someone and do a power attack. At least in other games, you could just do a quick backstab. But now you have to be prepped for a, the full thing. And doing a long animation after sneaking up on someone makes it pretty hard to to follow through. Especially since I'm, I'm, I'm sure, even though I was moving as slow as possible, that uh, that water was probably making me easier to, to detect. I'm sure it was making some kind of noise. So we're on our way back out, so we can start the, the main part of, the, of this floor. It's definitely a good thing I backtracked and checked out the side area, though. We got a unique weapon and a hunter fight. I think... I think that's our first hunter fight in a chalice dungeon so far. I'm pretty sure. It's relatively unusual anyway. Let's get back to the hunter's dream. Might as well level up. And see if I can upgrade that, uh, that glove at all. So it's currently sitting at 75 damage. I can upgrade it once with my starting blood shards. Let's see, next ranks are gonna be five and then eight. So if I grab 13, I'm good. I can grab that pretty easily with insight, which I don't have a lot of use for since I don't really summon people. Mainly just mainly just because it does world state stuff. Might as well just invest a bit. Since I'm just gonna get more of it anyway every time I encounter another boss and various other similar events. Oh, I have, wow, I've barely upgraded the hunter axe too. There's so many weapons in this game that you de they definitely eat up your uh, choices. Let's see, check with the burial blade. All right, that's already on chunks. Just wanted to make sure that I'm not using a resource that my burial blade needs. So now it, it is a plus four, taking it from, we've now taken it from 75 damage to 103. Not a huge, but not a huge boost. It has D scaling with uh, arcane strength and dexterity. So it doesn't really have a very good, uh, it doesn't really have good uh, benefits in general, really. But let's see about blood gem fortification. First of all, I should go with Ludwig's Holy Blade real quick. Because there's so many gems and I get tired of looking through huge lists of stuff, my go-to is usually just to scroll through while looking at the damage to see if it gets green. Oh, there we go. That last slot has options here. This one just gives you a flat attack boost and it'll give me like... Whoa, it's gonna give me... 60 more damage? What is this currently set as? Oh, rally potential? Yeah, who gives a shit? It gives you slightly better health regeneration when you hit people. No. I'll take that massive d damage boost that I apparently got from these new gems I've been finding around here. Okay, good. Good to know. We just got a significant boost to the up the damage of that weapon. Let's get to that beast claw and get it, get it its first set of weapons since we haven't upgraded it at all yet. I mean, first set of uh, gems. Oh, that's a 64, 71, 73. Alright, that's that'll definitely help. So now it's up to 103 plus 73, taking it to 276 damage. Not great, but it'll, it's a start at least. Uh, obviously it's fast attack speed and it's beast effects which are supposed to uh, help out with the fact that it has low damage, but still off to a bad start. Uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade currently does 200 plus 479 for perspective. On top of applying a rapid poison effect, uh, the main downside is the gems that are currently in it that give it such a big damage boost. Reduce damage against beasts and kin. But I feel like, I, as far as I can tell, the damage boost is better than the, than the, uh, 
the damage boost seems to be more powerful than the, the loss of damage, so even against those enemies, the gem makes it do more damage. It's just less more damage. <laughs> the bet just it's a diminished bonus. Very well. But it's definitely becoming a damage powerhouse. I'm surprised I found a gem that could increase its damage by that much. Do I go for endurance for more stamina or for more vitality? I feel like I want to put more points into wait, no, wait, right, I've been doing skill lately. Yeah, that's still a significant damage boost. That's uh three damage for my cane, four damage for my blade. That's comical. It's insane that I can actually increase my damage by that much this late in. Now, I'm gonna, now I need to come back with 80,000 blood echoes well, to increase time. it again. I'm sure I can find it. They're, this dungeon seems to be giving that to them to me quite quickly. Alright, back in. Alright, forward we go with our increasingly powerful weapon. Am I going the right way? This is not, Yeah, it just looks the same because it's the same goddamn room with the pit again. The, the variety certainly drops very quickly in these chalice dungeons. So it looks, looks like we have to go down in the pit. Good news is, that's the lamp, and that's the boss fight, or that's the chamber that we follow next, so... At least they're right next to each other. I'll go ahead and try to skip this blob. Closed door, as usual, I'm gonna skip that. Ooh! Not a secret. Not a secret. Ah, there's nowhere else to go in here? Okay, well then, bye. I'm opening doors. Don't need any, don't need any old shit. Watching that ceiling for blobs. It's the nastiest surprise you can get around here is one of those things dropping on you. Nope. Oh, 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 what's that? Saw something. Oh, more of these guys. Okay. Nice to meet you. Ow. How'd you deflect me out of a midair jump? That's crazy. Strike. Your friend's dead. Lols. Ow. Rude. Rude. They're being very rude. God damn, that's some damage. They're just fast enough to be a problem. I should really switch to my normal weapon. I say after they're dead and aren't going to be a problem anymore. <laughs> yeah, I should be using my faster weapon against those guys and trying to stun with a shotgun blast. Op open chamber. Upstairs. Ooh. Is this going to keep going for a little bit? Looks... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there is this door. Didn't know if we're going to find something up here or not. I always go top floor first. Because for all you know, there's going to be a chance to drop down anyway. Whereas the bottom floor, the bottom option have to, can often lead to a dead end of some kind. Hello, friend. How you doing? Having a grand old time? Just take a break. It's cool. It's cool. Ooh, that's probably where the lever is. Nope. Empty. There's no lever down there. There's something up here. So many choices, although I'm sure that links up with the bottom floor option I was already looking at. Hello? Ooh! Implight. Wow. The chalice dungeons are where they tried to hide all the jump scares, huh? Ew. Shit. You son of a bitch. Right, you're red, so you're just gonna keep getting summoned over and over again. Alright, well, 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 where's your bell, friend? Yep. Oh, I thought she was dead already. Wasn't expecting to take another hit, because I thought, I thought I already killed her. Quicksilver bullets. She's down. There's a bunch of crazy lightning down there, apparently. Uh, I'll, there's other options to go. I'll check those out in a moment. This area has expanded quickly. Thankfully, the uh, lantern ladies are nice and quick kills. Oh. We have people dual-wielding fire weapon axes, like they're Kratos or something. The Blades of Chaos. Oop. Oh, Pyromancer. That's new, isn't it? Oh, we destroyed the whole pillar. Have I seen that guy before? It looks like a, he looks like the Thamerian Elder, kind of. Weird. And he apparently can blow up the entire pillar. It's crazy f finding out that you could blow up pillars this whole time, because I just never came up until now. But clearly that was always an option. Ow. It's not like the environment changed. Oh god, I've missed. Hut. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Alright, well now I've aggroed them, so something should fight me up here, out, outside of the range of the magic guy. Coming after me, buddy? You coming for me? You coming for me? You just gonna stand? What, you, you done coming for me? Alright, plunging attack. Yeah. Stay. Oh, nope. Not quite working out for me, there we go. Anyone behind me? No? Not yet. 
Just give it time. All right. One more guy down there, I think. Besides the, besides the caster. Yep, there he is. And here's the caster. Oh, roll unsuccessful. It looked like I just stood there. Let's see. Oh, there's two of them down here. Oh, there's the switch. Oh, there's three of them down here. These are all bad things to learn right now. Oh crap. Didn't quite lock on in the direction I was planning on. Huh? Okay, okay. Lock on camera was causing some problems there. We came out on top, only really only used one blood vial. My plan was to stand behind this thing because it seems to be the as far as I know it's the only thing that he can't destroy with fireballs. Everything else is pillars. Seem to work out. And there's the lever, so that's my ultimate goal of this floor. I'll, I'll of course keep exploring though. Huh? Say hello to my big friend. Oh god. Well, we found out that he takes damage fast, so that's cool. What is he? Ah, uh, I'm so, I'm so, I feel bad I killed him. I want to take a closer look at him, because that's a new enemy. He's got horns. Like, big, curving, illidan horns. Okay. Or like the new Harry Potter movie. Well, not Harry Potter movie, but... <laughs> the, new, the new Daniel Radcliffe movie. Which I have not seen, but it's got big, curving horns, I think. Alright, so... Figuring out how to proceed here. Is that where I came in? I think it is. So let's check the other side of the T-junction. Because now we have, we have access to the boss now, of course. But I want to see what other kind of cool shit's around here. What's that? That looks like a nasty... Oh, it's a wolf. Alright, that's fine. I'm used to that. Spiral staircase room. Okay. That gives me less corners to check. Because I don't have to worry about what's behind me. If it's a basically an, a hallway. And it's going to lead us back to the bottom floor, which is where I'm going to want to go anyway. That is a That's a trap boulder. Wow. It is a... <laughs> trap boulder got the wolf, even though that makes zero sense because no one was there to light it. And the wolf just died of fall damage. No, it didn't, but it fell. Wow. Wow. We actually got... It's crazy how big wolves are, by the way. When you see them from a top down like that, and you get a proper perspective of how comically large the enemies are. But, uh... I did not expect to see a trap boulder in this kind of dungeon. I didn't think that was an option. Hey, wolf guy, where are you going? You coming up here? Oh, he knows how to. He knows how to pathfind. You just got to give him a little time to figure it out. It's adorable. Hello, friend. Ow! Ow! Rude! Rude! Give me those hit points. I thought I was gonna just take him out with one quick blow from to the front, but he uh, inter interrupted it. Wow, look at all these guys sitting all calm and zen in the vicinity of the uh, crazy fire trap. Ow! Ow! Shit! Holy crap! Holy crap! Hit one blow! <laughs> I realized I didn't lock on, but I was like, surely this guy- This attack has a horizontal swing almost. Surely it's going to hit the guy. Did not hit the guy like four times in a row. Was not prepared for that. It's clearly a value to locking on that I did not fully articulate there. I figured if, if I see a, a, hor a horizontal swing, I'm pretty much already have the, the job done for me at that point. Ooh, more high level blood. Creepy ritual room. No trick there. These gotta be secrets. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm sure I'm missing secrets everywhere, but it, uh, uh, you have to be borderline insane to find them all on the first time around because you just have to hit so many damn walls. Oh yeah. And there's the middle part of the of the of the uh, staircase area. So now we can head back down. I think that was all the paths, as far as I can remember. And this is the pit, so we're back at the boss chamber. Where is the ladder? There's the ladder. You stay down here, blob man. You be a weird blob. Enjoy your time, I guess. I'm gonna- Oh, I can level up. Let's do that before the boss fight so I don't, I don't lose the uh, blood there. Another point in skill for two, point, two points of damage for my cane, three points of damage for my sword. Still seems worth it to me.